from C and welcome to Ronan Services on a road. This is a convoy of Japanese cars because we are heading to Beauty Simply Japanese, the first car show that I have been to in the whole of 2020. This is the first paid ticketed event that's not been a breakfast meet or an evening meet that I've been to this year. So I'm very excited and we are amongst a great bunch of Japanese and JDM cars. I'm in my Nissan next to a Datsun, got MX-5, R32 GTR, a Crown, an MX-5. There's a couple of Supras over there as well and a lineup of Zs. And we're going to convoy over to Bewley, which is only about half an hour away, and uh, catch some scenes. So, yeah, enjoy. But before I can give you a quick look around, we're actually leaving. So, um, yes, let's get some convoy action. So we have now arrived at location number two, another meet point for a few more cars, and I have managed to put my roof down. It's been a little bit um, temperamental recently, but here we go. Hopefully it doesn't rain because I'm not sure whether it will go back up again. Woes of like, you know, electricity. Convoy, we have found another convoy. Check out the cubes, it's like someone spilt a box of Lego and it's all arriving now. One cube, two cube, three cube, four cube, five cube, six cube, seven cube, eight cube. Oh, that one's a pickup cube, it's like not actually a cube anymore. Right, we're heading off again. Next stop is Bewley Motor Museum. For this part of the convoy, I thought I'd catch them leaving. Hopefully Mr. Horsey McHorseface doesn't get in our way. <laughs> We have the field of JDM machines all spaced out to uh, make the government happy. The legend is arriving. So here we are all parked up on the beauty field. It's interesting to see all the cars very spaced out and that's why they've kept the numbers to a minimum. 500 people maximum at this event but there are hundreds of cars to look at. That's always grand. So I am keeping the roof down. I'm going to chance the weather because it looks a little bit nicer with the roof down rather than up and I'm parked next to the Supra who is stealing all of my thunder. We've got the R34 over there and um, quite a few other 
interesting machines with their roofs kind of open. And next door to me we've got a 350Z with a Veil side kit. And a Spec R Nissan S15. This one came in on a trailer and then they drove in from there so he's kept clean and didn't put the miles on. Veil side 350Z has width and we've got this yellow 300ZX on display. Don't see many of these. Nice to have a look. Spotted this Mark 1 Unos Roadster with its very large diffuser on the back, the plexiglass style spoiler as well. The pop-ups are of course up as they should be on a Mark 1. And lining up here we've got the combo of Mark 4 versus Mark 5 Supra. Oh, clocked a combo at the back as well. Could you call this two-tone? This Celica has seen better days. Even its number plate's looking a little bit sorry. Oh, a note. Hey, this is my first project car. I know it's not that appealing to the eye, but I love it. Please show it some love too. Any suggestions on how to make it better apart from the obvious? Let me know. You thought there wouldn't be a chaser in this video. You were very wrong. It's not a white chaser it is a black chaser which means it's a sensible driver as we have found there's a honda logo over there with a logo holding up its bonnet is it trying to look like a metallic flake or is it just some spots that have fallen from the sky apparently it's midnight purple is the color difficult to see in this lighting i think the purple mainly comes from the flake i think there's a shine of purple there somewhere two of the cleanest cars here the bluebird and the accord they even have period collect dealership stickers on them very low mileage automatic and tinted glass Oh, he's actually for sale for 13 grand for the Datsun Bluebird. And the Accord is one owner, power steering radio, cassette, low mileage, automatic and rear window wiper. Wow, you sold this car to me for four and a half grand. Who brought a Z3 to the car show? RX-8 is very orange, has LEDs on the front and even the dishes inside the wheels are orange to match the car. And then some blue pinstriping to contrast against that. Um, talking of colours, there's some kind of troll on this car. Is he the same person who puts an air brake on the back of the spoiler? We've got a stager and a couple of skylines behind this. 33 GTR and 34 GTR with a carbon bonnet. GTR Nismo coming in. And we have the almighty specimen that is the Honda Jazz with a bit of a sticker showcase coming up. I'm a bad woman. Not to 60 eventually. Eat, sleep, bongo, repeat. Eat, sleep, bongo, repeat. Eat, sleep, bongo, repeat. Eat, sleep, bongo, repeat. A pig. This guy has tried so hard to stick his place on and yet failure is unavoidable. We've got the rarity that is the Evo wagon. Oh. IS200 is giving revolutions. We have a very masculine Civic here with all the cuddly toys inside and a splash of pink in the interior as well and some fluffy toys that are around the shaft of the gear stick. Yes, 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 we know you can rev. GTR has red wheels which are brave. Many induction sounds. MX-5 wrapped in British racing green and a Nissan 350Z convertible wrapping the roof down crew. Birth child of a Skyline and a 350Z with some like flaggy things on it. It's a micro isn't it? It's uh, been modded, it's got double wings and stickers and some little monstery thing. Blue tip, the rising sun on the side, some custom carbon wing mirrors, rising sun on the bonnet as well. Nismo badge and a four-door R34. His braveness only reached the rear. I have seen this 350Z before. It's quite the unique specification. It's very clean and it has the bravest of orange wheels to clash against the green colour. The spoiler on the back is higher than the actual roof line. Shut up, nerd. And the exhaust is spread like some girl's legs. Oh, that's that's a bit much. Ah, oh, 350Z is leaving so soon. Why you leave so fast? On first glance, the exhaust looks sizable, but um, it ain't. In case you were wondering, this is an A90 generation Supra. The Mark V. Civic is a bit of a track car with stickers and vents and debadging. And rear interior delete. But here is the pickup style cube that we clocked earlier. Is this a genuine, were they made like this or is this a custom job? It looks fairly OEM. Open deck, that will be what it would be called. He's gone for the fake brake discs and his exhaust is some kind of disease. You could also call them the Brave Wheel Crew. We've got the orange wheels and then well, these ones over there, something I haven't seen before in a car. No idea what wheels they are, but they stand out. Unlike his exhaust, which doesn't stand out at all. Where is it? Where is it? 
Oh, there he is. I actually quite like this one. It sat pretty nicely. The stickers can go, but other than that, go around. If it was supposed to be fast, it wouldn't be shaped like a brick. He's also gone for the predictable stormtrooper effect. Let's go around the front. Ah, oh, yet more stormtroopers inside the car. Bobbleheads. Stormtrooper Galactic Empire Edition. Here is the Stormtrooper Cube. They're all very unique from the front. This one's got an emblem on it and flags. Hello. Yeah. The Del Sol's are out in force today. Cheeky Turbo. So that was the majority of the cars. I filmed all the highlights here. So I hope you enjoyed that video. We're going to go to the exit now and capture some departures through classic style. Haven't done that for a while either. So follow me on Instagram for all the updates about these meets that I go to and photographs and behind the scenes action about it. But for now, thanks for watching.